hello everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm going to make um, spinach kati kati is made with yogurt um, so we have to make buttermilk uh, from yogurt by adding water to the yogurt and then we have to add some chickpea flour and we're going to use all these spices uh, ginger, fresh ginger, fresh garlic, um, fresh chili, cumin, cumin seeds, and fenugreek seeds to do the seasoning. And then I'll add some turmeric. And then in the end, we will add the spinach. So this is like a yogurt soup, but it's called kadi. And this is called spinach kadi. So let's start cooking. So I have uh, about um, a cup of yogurt in this pan. I'm going to add a cup of water and I will mix that in thoroughly and now I made buttermilk out of yogurt by adding the water so after it's mixed properly you have to add in about a tablespoon of chickpea flour now chickpea flour is a thickening agent, but chickpea flour has a lot of protein. So we are going to mix that again thoroughly. And then we are going to cook it. So you have to make sure that the flour is totally integrated in the buttermilk that's a very important step so now i'll show you the next step so i have this um, mixture in a pan on a stove it's on a medium high heat and you have to have a big spoon like that to to keep on stirring it you have to keep on stirring it otherwise it will separate so we don't want that to happen i'm going to add a pinch of turmeric powder in this dish while cooking you have to keep on stirring At this point, I'm going to add some salt. About a teaspoon of salt. You have to keep on stirring, otherwise it may boil over and you don't want that. You don't want it to curd either. It's very important because the yogurt can curd very easily and it separates. So we want uh, just a smooth texture. So keep on stirring it. And then as it thickens, that means the chickpea powder is cooked properly because we want that powder, chickpea powder, flour, to be cooked. And that's what we're doing right now. Chickpea flour cannot be eaten raw. You have to cook it. So I can already see that um, it's thickening up because of the chickpea flour. So Turmeric is just a pinch, just to add the color, and turmeric is also healthy for you. So this will take about um, 10 minutes. So I just want to show you that after stirring it for almost five minutes, it's become nice and creamy and thick. The consistency should be that much. You don't want it too thick or too thin. So, and 
and it um, hasn't separated so yeah we succeeded the texture is beautiful and because of turmeric the color is beautiful yeah this this dish requires a lot of stirring so you have to be patient and now it's bubbling up that means it's thoroughly cooked and now i'm going to show you how to season it so now as you can see i just put the fresh chili to infuse the the spiciness of uh, this curry and it's going to infuse very nicely so we want that to cook for a few minutes so we can have the chili flavor in the curry So now in this pan, we we'll let the mixture sit for a while and let the chili uh, infuse the, the curry. Um, in a different pan, I have uh, some butter, which I'm melting. And in that butter, I'm going to put in So we are preparing the seasoning for the curry. I have pieces of ginger. And we'll let that cook for a few minutes. Ginger takes longer to cook than garlic so I will let the ginger brown a little bit before I add the garlic okay so I'm adding the garlic pieces now the ginger and garlic in the butter it's wonderful at this point I'm going to add the cumin seeds and fenugreek seeds fenugreek seeds it gives a kick it gives a, a flavor and fenugreek is very good for your stomach for digestion I can smell the fenugreek seeds cooking it has a very um, a special flavor mm. so we we'll let this um, cook for a few minutes so now the seasoning is ready so we bring back our mixture of yogurt and this is how we mix the seasoning with the yogurt and we are going to pour this mixture into the big pot and now we will let that boil and let it cook for a few more minutes so all the flavors are absorbed in the curry seasoning is very very important in this dish so I'll show you the next step. 
So now this dish requires a little bit of sweetening and I've melted some jaggery. So I'm going to add, because yogurt needs, yogurt is tart. Um, it is a bit sour. So this is going to be a sweet and sour dish. So I just added some jaggery. So this is how we want it. It's boiling and it hasn't separated. It's all smooth and silky and uh, I just tasted it. Everything is fine and salt and jaggery. The mixture is wonderful. So now I'm going to lower the heat and this is the final step. I told you it's going to be um, curry with spinach. So spinach doesn't take long to cook. So I'll add all the spinach, which I chopped up. And this is a very healthy dish. You can eat it with rice. You can just drink the soup by itself. So you can call it a yogurt soup with spinach or kadi with spinach. So there you have it. You have your kadi with spinach, which is a wonderful dish in winter with warm rice and you pour the kadi over it or you can drink it in a separate bowl. But uh, yeah, this is a very, very nice dish and healthy. So um, it's a good dish for vegetarians. So there you have your, you have your exotic curry with spinach. So it's ready. Hope you like it. Hope you enjoy it. And um, yeah, send me comments. I hope you like, share and subscribe my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.